जनगणमन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा हिंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे That's why I told them that uh, all the we used to do all those things uh, like uh, we have uh, color movement and then we have parade so many things are there. I thought maybe ten days it was not enough uh, for you to practice, so that's why we left everything. But this much, if you are correlating, uh, I think we would have get that also. So maybe next time we'll do that. And uh, I would invite uh, somebody to just to speak about Republic Day. So instead of me speaking, that uh, you guys uh, speak about that, that will be having more value. So if anybody, language is not a matter, Marathi, Hindi, I can understand everything. So anybody, whatever the language it may be, just the message is very important. So you can just come and have your uh, speech. A small talk, it's not a speech. Just a few things about uh, Republic Day, what you have understood about that. Good morning to one and all present over here. My name is Javed Shah. Today I am uh, giving a speech on Republic Day. Republic Day is our national festival that is celebrated every year on 26 January. This day is special for Indians because we got our constitution on this day. As India got its independence on 15 August 1947 and further on 29 August 1947. The constitution was appointed to make our constitution. Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar was appointed as the chairperson and it took 2 years, 11 months and 18 days in the forming of the constitution. The constitution was formed on 26 November 1949 but was finally adopted on 26 January 1950. As this date has its historical significance, it was confirmed to celebrate our Independence Day on the same day. In a meeting of Indi Indian National Congress, it held on 26 January 1930, but it took 17 years to get free from British rule and India got its freedom on 15 August 1947. So we celebrate Independence Day on 15 August. Thank you. Yes, yes, come. one and all present over here. <coughs> Myself, Piyush Savan from GP Rating. Uh, I'm standing here to give a speech on Republic Day. One of the most populated democracies in the world. India celebrates Republic Day on the 26th of January every year. 
This day denotes the historic event when our nation eventually got its exclusive constitution into effect in this year, in the year 1950. Republic Day is a national holiday and the day is celebrated with flag hoisting, functions and cultural events. This day reminds us of our freedom fighters and the great personalities of India. One of them was Baba Sahib Bhimra Ambedkar who drafted the Indian constitution and is also known as the father of the Indian constitution. This day is a sign of India's unique identity. Thank you. Good morning to respected Dean and my dear friends. First of all, I wish you a very happy Republic Day. And I would like to thank myself for giving me opportunity to speak about this proud day. We are feeling proud to have our own constitution living in free India, celebrating the spirit of freedom fighters. Moreover, we are able to enjoy these freedoms and rights due to our constitution, which name is into accession on the national event known as Republic Day. India observed Republic Day as a national holiday to commemorate the 26th January 1950, the day of the India constitution went into effect. This took the place of Government of India Act 1935 as the country governing law, transforming into India into a republic distinct from the British Raj. Thank you. Morning, everyone. Mananiya Mukhya Titi, Dean Sir, Adhaniya Siksha Gan, and my dear country, you all have a great day of Gantanta Divas. As we all know, today is the 26th January, and we all have the 24th Gantanta Divas to celebrate our country's 24th Gantanta Divas. On the 15th of August 1947, our country was born, and on the 26th January 1950, our country was born in our country. तब से हर साल आज के दिन हम लोग गणतंत्र दिवस मनाते हैं हमारे देश का संविधान विश्व का विश्व का नंबर वन लिखित संविधान है और डॉक्टर भीमराव अंबेडकर जी को हमारे संविधान का जनक माना जाता है हमारे देश को स्वतंत्र और गणतंत्र बनाने के लिए अनेक स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों ने अपने जीवन का बलिदान दिया है देश इनके समर्पण को कभी नहीं भूलेगा देश इनके समर्पण को कभी नहीं भूल सकता स्वतंत्रता के बाद हमारे देश ने बहुत उन्नति की है और हमें अब हमारे भारतवासी होने पे गर्व है परंतु आज भी हमारे देश में आतंकवाद भ्रष्टाचार बेरोजगारी असमानता जैसी समस्याएं हैं। तो आइए आज गणतंत्र दिवस के अवसर पर हम सभी एक प्रतिज्ञा करते हैं कि इन सभी समस्याओं को सुलझाने का हम पूरा प्रयास करेंगे और अपने देश भारत को विश्व का सर्वश्रेष्ठ देश बनाएंगे जाते जाते मैं दो लाइन अर्ज करना चाहूंगा न पूछो जमाने से कि क्या हमारी कहानी है न पूछो जमाने से कि क्या हमारी कहानी है हमारी पहचान तो सिर्फ ये है कि हम हिंदुस्तानी है हम हिंदुस्तानी है भारत माता की भारत माता की वंदे वंदे जय जवान जय किसान जय हिंद जय भारत धन्यवाद Everybody have understood that what is Republic Day. Yes, sir. So what is that? It should not be looking like classroom, man. See, when India got freedom, after that we we have committed to uh, golden rules. It is not written in our constitution, but it is our uh, golden rule that uh, comply, intervene, and respect. So we need to abide with that rule whenever you go, wherever you go. Comply with rules and regulations. So even nobody is there, you have to comply with rules and regulations. Okay. So any rule, if it says that you have to do this, then you have to comply with that. Comply with the rules and regulations. Intervene. Intervene means what? What is the meaning of uh, intervene in English word? If somebody is not doing good, it is not your job to just ignore and go. You have to intervene. If something gone wrong, somebody is not abiding with the rule, 
we have to intervene with them that it is not correct whatever your position may be as a citizen and uh, the guy who is doing that it is much more than you you have to intervene that is uh, we committed that is how the republic day has been originated we have to comply and we have to intervene that somebody is not doing good then you have to intervene with them so intervene whenever something is not good you have to intervene respect respect everybody irrespective of uh, their category and irrespective of their social economic condition then you have to respect everybody that's what it is so it is no way written but we have to abide with these three things so india committed to do this so you see all the formation and how the government is running these three rules are hidden inside so you personally take these three rules with you when you go on ship also it will be useful comply with rules whatever whatever the situation may be whoever says so what the rule says just obey the rule if somebody is not doing good then you have to intervene you should not just ignore and go it's not my job it's not like that you have to intervene and respect everybody from top to bottom it may be your lower rank or your colleague or maybe the seniors not only the seniors you have to respect you have to respect everybody okay so this is what we abide for and uh, this is the time to remember all those things okay okay have a nice uh, time and have a free time so we'll conclude here okay thank you Let's go! 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 Let's go!